North Carolina is getting one and a half billion dollars in opioid settlement funds over the next several years. Cities and counties will get to allocate the vast majority to local programs. State leaders get to decide how to spend 15% or about 225 million bucks. As WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman reports, the latest spending decisions from the state have some addiction advocacy groups asking, where's the money? Men facing struggles come to live on this Monroe farmland for a second chance at life. We take guys out of prison, out of recovery, out of homelessness. Wesley Kazia leads the faith-based nonprofit Ground 40. And we provide practical and spiritual guidance to get them back on their feet and back out into the community, back uh, in their homes. Kaziah is helping others after overcoming his own struggles. You know, I was a heroin addict for 10 years and I, you know, I tried NAAA secular programs. Like I, I knocked on a lot of different doors and it wasn't until I heard the gospel of Jesus Christ where I found help and I found freedom from my addiction. The program focuses on abstinence based treatment, meaning to get sober, they do not allow medication. We believe abstinence is the best way. Uh, I did try medication in my own journey, Suboxone, the methadone clinic, and it felt like it was making me more dependent. Ground 40 is one of several abstinence based treatment programs getting money in North Carolina's state budget this year. In fact, it's getting $750,000 from the opioid settlement fund. We need more facilities like this one right here. But other addiction advocates think public dollars should only go to facilities that offer a wide range of treatments. When we have programs that are abstinence only, they're really limiting the options that an individual, a North Carolinian, a patient has when figuring out how to um, how to tackle addiction. Lee Storo with the Community Education Group would rather see opioid settlement money go toward evidence-based treatments. There are plenty of folks who have benefited from an abstinence-only service, right? But I think for programs to explicitly not allow patients to use the gold standard when it comes to ending, you know, to uh, tackling substance use is just really problematic when we think about dollars being allocated by the General Assembly to go to this service. Kaziah says his program has helped dozens get sober, but he encourages anyone battling addiction to choose what works best for them. If you need help, go get help. Like it doesn't matter. The goal is to preserve your life long enough to find the one who can heal it. In Monroe, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.